I paid $249 for that rifle kit. I bought the Anderson Arms lower for another 50 bucks. So we're 300 bucks into this gun, less than 300, right at 299 for this gun. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put a red dot sight on this, but I'm gonna go a completely different route. All right, so I got the barrel nut in. We're going to go ahead and put this barrel nut on, the delta nut on, delta assembly. And what we're supposed to do is tighten this down to 30 foot pounds, 30 to 80 foot pounds. So we're going to back this off to about 32 foot pounds. So there we go. And let's see what we get here. Try to get everything aligned. Should be good. Keep this all straight. Oh, I guess we got more turns there in it still. There we go. Okay, now we'll let the torque wrench do its job. Keep tightening, there it goes. Just verify one more time. Yep. That looked like it, okay. Let's see where we are aligned. Now this is the one part I really don't like about these delta rings. But, try to keep the weight down on this rifle. And show you guys another cool thing that I've come up with to get an A2 front sight mounted. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a minute, get this thing aligned for you so we can go get on with the next step. Well, I thought I was going to have to retime it. I guess I'm not going to have to. The uh, All I need to do is just put the... There's a snap ring on the back of the barrel nut. All I need to do is move that snap ring back my line, I'm lined right up. I, mean, I put the gas tube in. I can't get much more on than that with my alignment. So we're all done with that. Oh yeah, that's going to make a tons difference. Hot. All right, while well, I work this pen in, you guys sit back, have a coffee, drink. I'll be right back once I get this pen in. All right, well, that went in a lot quicker, a lot easier than I expected. I think it's still pretty hot. Actually, when I got that started, I shut the camera off. I took the hammer and gave it one good whack. That thing went almost all the way in. So, what I'm going to do now, since... Uh, you take a look at this barrel we've got mounted. You can see how when the gas tube goes in, normally you would have pins that would go right here. Okay? Now that barrel would be cut out, have little cuts for those pins to go across. We don't have those cuts you can't see through those holes at all okay so what I'm gonna end up doing is if you look on the bottom of this you can see there's a hole in the bottom of that A2 sight look on the bottom of the barrel you got a detent right there it kind of lines up with the gas hole on the barrel so I've got a tap and die set I'm gonna tap that out and I'm gonna drill this barrel lug out or this uh this bayonet lug out, I'm going to drill the bayonet lug out as well with a little fine tune, with a little fine hole all the way down and I'm going to tap that as well. So, I'm going to get started on that. Kind of... 
All right, so I did the same thing I'm gonna to do to that as I did to my uh, 300 black out here. As you can see, I don't know if you can, but you can see there's a hole right there. And if I took the bayonet or the uh, sling swivel off, you'd see a hole just like that underneath that one. So that's all I did. There's no pins on there, nothing. I have about 500 rounds through this upper. That side has never moved. Um, so if you're interested in putting a A2 front side on, this is how I'd go about doing it, or how I did go about doing it. I believe it's a number eight. Number 832, tap and die. Tap. So that's what I ended up using, okay? Picked it up at Home Depot. They come in a little set. This is what I ended up getting for screw wise. Okay. I got one left from when I did that. That's what I have. I also have a, uh, a number 10. Someone showed me or told me a number 10 would work, but that seemed a little big. So I went with the, the, the eight by 32 thread. Okay, before I start, I'm gonna put this piece of tape in there, okay? I don't want any, any burrs, anything like that, any pieces of shape, metal, metal shavings falling down inside that gas tube or that gas hole, okay? Just tape a little bit in there before you get started. This is going to get messy. We're going to have oil all over the place. And this will help prevent any burrs or anything. Even if you have burrs in there, I got a little air, compressed air, I'll blow through this later on. But it's just kind of a preventative thing. Here we go. A little bit and back it off. A little bit and back it off. You're going to do this all the way through. You're going to watch that tap, make sure it stays straight all the way through, okay? If you get it started or you start it and it doesn't look like it's staying straight, start it again, okay? Back it off. And that's the most important part when you very first start this. So actually keep that straight. Now I am through. There we go. Go all the way down with this. Make sure we got good threads all the way through. It feels like we do. I actually enjoy doing this. I actually like having an A2 sight on the front of my gun and I've noticed a lot more barrels I've been ordering and buying all the barrels and I've ever bought have never had in a uh, an ability to be able to put an A2 sight on the front I kind of a little old school I figure if I can get best of both worlds I put my gas block on having an A2 sight on it and great uh, if you guys see my other videos my AK-40 my AR-47 has an A2 front sight you can see my 300 blackout has a front sight. This one has a front sight. Um, I, I I enjoy it. I guess I don't know. Call me old school. So there we go. Like I said, we'll take that uh, number eight by 32, three inch or three three eighths inch tap. Set screw, put a little bit of, uh, as I drop it, we go to put this in, finally, finalize it and put it in, we'll put a little Loctite on it, I'll run that in, see how it feels, looks, oh yeah, that's good, runs really nice all the way through. Get some more shavings out of there. He's all the way down through. Now another thing you could do too, that I did on my 300 blackout, was I got a really short one. I didn't go with the 3 8 inch. I went with like, I don't know, probably a quarter inch. 
and I put it in there. That way you can get underneath that sling. It just barely, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just barely sticks out. And then I put a little screw with a nut on the other end to put my sling swivel back on, my sling mount back on. Okay, so now before I do anything else, I'm not going to take the tape out. Actually, I am because it's not sticking. We're going to add another piece of tape because we don't want any burrs. We want to prevent any burrs from getting down inside that gas tube. We'd hate to have a uh, an issue with the gun cycling because we could have prevented something simple like as simple as this. And gas burrs not getting down inside or uh, metal shavings not getting down inside. So, put that back on, cover that back up, and mark my hole. We're going to get it started. And just take your time. Try to keep the bit straight. getting close so I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on that bit I don't want it to come busting through there and mar up the bottom of that so I'm going to put this in there so when it comes through it's going to have something to hit besides the other, other end of the side just like that I'm going to clean that hole out tap that hole same exact thing we did last time I came there's actually a mark through that on the very bottom it came dead center through where that pin would go through so exactly what we wanted it to do and exactly how we wanted this to look okay okay we're just gonna tap do the same thing we did on the other one get this uh, tap started run it all the way down on through keep it straight keep it looking straight be patient a little at a time goes a long ways use your oil when you need you feel a lot of resistance feel like it's binding up drip a little oil in there throw this back in there and kind of collect a lot of that oil go I'm gonna fast forward so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me work this because it is a longer chunk of metal than the last one and you guys can actually get an idea of what we're doing here and see the finished product all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take we just tapped and threaded our our a2 front side I'll put our ring on. What I also did is I drilled a divot into there. I'll kind of go over that real quick. All I did was put this on, got it aligned, took a nice fine bit, and just drilled down in there a little bit. Got that nice and tight. I got that just kind of drilled up against that, made that mark. Once I got that mark, take that off. And then just and all you're doing is making a divot point for that set screw when it runs down through there it tapers you want that set screw just to basically run down in there and bite in that metal so that sight doesn't move back and forth okay I got set I got a Loctite setting on that screw for right now so we get to go to get this all finished, we can just run this down in there. So to finish this up, all we do, because we have tapped and we've drilled our, our A2 front side out, tapped it, we've got a detent in that barrel. I'm 
Align our gas, pull up. Okay, take our set screw. I only have one long one, so I'm just gonna do this one, but you'll get the idea for that as well. Run that set screw down in there into that, that dimple you made into the barrel. And it's going to lock up real tight. Oh. Okay, so my set screw is now touching the, the barrel. I'm going to back it out just a little bit to where I can move my gas the A2 front sight back and forth, gas block back and forth. Pull it out. Once you get one of these screws in, this is not going to go anywhere. So I can push that on there now. Just like that. Run that set screw the rest of the way down. Tighten it up. And this is not going anywhere. That A2 sight is tight. So, wipe a little bit of the, uh, clean that up just a little bit. Wipe some of that Loctite off. So you can see that sucker's tight. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. Once you get that back one, it'll be nice and tight as well. Uh, at this point, do one of two things. I took my sling swivel off. Your sling swivel is uh, just a, a pin that goes through there. But once I took it out, I just used a punch and punched it out. But once I took it out, I went and found a screw and a nut. This is all I did, or all I'm going to do. If I ever want to take it off, it's simple. Just take the threads off. Just un unthread that. So that's on there. So this is the, uh, there we go. Now this all came in that kit. The only thing that didn't come in that kit, like I said, or have said, is the, uh, is the, the A2 site and the handguard delta ring assembly. That being all done, we're just going to finish up with putting our, our forend on. Now this can be a little tight, these delta rings like to fight you. And just like that, our upper is completed. All right, so there's our finished product. There's how our gun turned out. That sight mark on top, Z series, zombie series. Uh, we have a we have set screws in that front sight, not a pin, so it's kind of nice. You want to take it off, put it in. So we'll take this out to the range now. Get some range time in with it. Check our accuracy, check function, reliability on it. Let's head to the range. All right, we're out here at the range. We've got the Ceratec all built, completed. We're going to check function, reliability, maybe do some accuracy shots down range. Got a target. Uh, the sight mark Z series on top. Didn't bring the Allen wrenches out to actually sight this in. But. Uh, so we'll just do some target practice with it, playing around, got a 20 round mag, see how this works.
That worked fine. Put back on safe. Bolt held open. Did exactly like it should, reliability wise. Looks pretty good. The uh, pattern, I'm noticing that pattern from that shell ejector is throwing it right out in front of me. I like that. I think that's pretty cool for the slick side. This is what the rifle kit will look like from Saratech.com. Add yourself a strip lower for 50 bucks. You're less than 300 bucks into this rifle.